Hey fellow sim drivers, we are back with another tutorial uh, after my last tutorial on how to upload custom liveries to your car in my team. I got a lot of people asking how I got the Brabus badge for my team's emblem instead of using one of the default ones in the game. So I decided to do another quick tutorial on that for you guys. This is super easy. It's actually easier than doing a custom livery. This only takes a few minutes and you need minimal, minimal Photoshop knowledge. So let's get started. First off, you're going to need a tool called the Ego ERP Archiver. There's a link to that in the description and is a modding utility that allows you to open assets from any game made with the Ego engine. That includes F1 2020, F1 2019, and F1 2018. Also, you will need a copy of an image editing tool. I'm using Photoshop for the purposes of this tutorial. You can use any image editing tool to actually edit the image, but whichever tool you pick must have the ability to export to the Intel DDS texture format. Photoshop does that with the plugin. There may be plugins for other image editors uh, like GIMP or Earthen Viewer, anything else that you're using. I don't know because I use Photoshop. So first things first, you want to open the ERP archiver. You're going to go to settings. Make sure that your game directory is set to your F1 2020 installation directory. After that, you're going to go to file open. And this is where the address that you want to go to. You want to go to F1 2020 asset groups, UI package, texture arrays, customization, uh, custom underscore badge large, and then emblem. And then this will bring up a list of all of the, the different ERPs. Now, if we go up a level, um, we can see uh, there's actually ERPs for the backgrounds that you choose. But for the purposes of this, we're going to use the emblems. And for the most part, you're going to pick a blank background in the actual My Team Badge Editor in game. So you want to select the one that has the same name as whichever the one that you're using in my team, or you can use any other one. I'm using the anniversary one, mainly because it always seems to work for some reason. Um, when I, the first few times I did this, I used some of the different, um, one of the other ones, and it didn't seem to work that well, but the anniversary emblem tends to work all the time. That is the one I suggest using, unless you really, really like the way the seven the unless you really, really like the way the 70th anniversary logo looks in the game. So once you find the one that you want to use, you want to go ahead and open that. And as you see here, emblem anniversary .tiff, you click that and then you can see the actual emblem. Now this is the one that I, that I replaced. Uh, normally it would be the emblem of the 70th anniversary logo for F1. So what you want to do is export this texture and I'm gonna export it to my F1 2020 modding folder. Uh, let's make a new folder on badges. And then we're gonna save it there. And we can put ego away for a, a while. Now, once we've got it saved there, I'm gonna go to that folder. We're gonna open that file in Photoshop leave these options alone you don't have to, to to do those okay you do not want to load transparency as an alpha channel so you're going to hit okay and then it's going to bring this up do not change the image size of this the image must be 512 by 512 pixels so leave this as it is you're simply going to uh, select the image that is there you're going to delete it get it out of here Okay, so once you've done that, you've now got a blank background layer, and then you're going to open the badge that you want to use, and uh, let's pretend like BMW and Mercedes decided to get into F1 together. So now what you want to do is uh, select the, the new badge that you want. Go ahead, copy that, go back here, and then paste it and then select your transform tool and then you can scale this to the size that you want. Now this is a pretty good size I think. Uh, go ahead and apply the transformation and now you've got this here. So now all you need to do is export it out. You're gonna go to file, 
save as, and then you're going to save it as an Intel texture works. You can save over the file that you just exported. Once you hit save, you'll get this little confirm save as. Yes, you do want to replace it. And then you'll get a dialog prompt. Now what you want to do is select color plus alpha. That way it has the transparent C in the back. And then for compression, you're going to select BC78 big bits per pixel. Fine, this is the one that you want to select here. Mint maps you can keep to auto generate. Click OK and then it saves it. Now you can go back to the Ego Archiver. Make sure that you have the badge that you want to replace. Select it. You're going to go to Textures, Import, select this one, and look at that. You now have the badge replacing the old emblem. So now you're going to go to File, Save, and then you're going to save this as whatever emblem that you just replaced. Make sure you back up your old one like I've done here in a folder called Backup, just in case you want to revert back to the old one, and then click Save. You're going to get a prompt asking if you want to replace it. Select Yes. Once that's done, you can go ahead and open F1 2020. And when we load into my team, we can see that the BMW logo has replaced the previous logo uh, that I had before. As, as we can see here on my driver, the BMW logo is also on his race suit. And we'll replace the logo wherever the logo is normally displayed in the game. Now, if we go back out into the main menu, go to badges, go to customization, we can also see our badge right here has been replaced and you can change it right there. If you go to create new badge, under emblems, you will see right here where we've replaced it. Now, a few caveats. You have to change the colors of the badge to red and green for them to display if you use any other badge except for the 70s edition badge to replace. So you cannot change the colors on the 70s edition badge. Therefore, that's why the colors are displayed here correctly. And it's one of the reasons why I like to use it and it always, and it always works. If we look here, uh, the Brabus badge that I had earlier, the colors are not red and green. That's why the, uh, the logo looks kind of purplish. So for purposes of my team, I would highly recommend that you replace the 70th anniversary edition badge with your, whatever your custom badge is. And that's it. That's how easy it is. A lot easier than putting a custom livery in the game. And if you found this tutorial particularly helpful, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can be notified for more tutorials and sim racing content. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.